Now that you have your puzzle cube figured out, you have all your parts made, what we're going to do is sketch orthographic sketches of each of our parts. So what I want you to do is grab a part and we're going to start to sketch just one part at a time. All right. So to set up our page, we're going to divide the page. First off, turn your notebook sideways. Then divide the page in half and divide the page in half top to bottom. So we have four sections to draw here. Okay. We're going to use a scale of two blocks on here represents one block on this this cube here. Okay. So if I were to represent one, I'd draw two blocks by two blocks by two blocks by two blocks. Okay. So I'm going to start with this part here. I'm going to draw the whole front, top, and right side view just in this space right here. So looking at it from the front, I can see that I have one block tall. So that's going to be two blocks. It goes over one block, goes up, and then over two of these cubes. Then I go down. Then I'm going to go over, down one cube, and then I complete one, two going across. So if I look at this, even a two-dimensional view, I can see that there's a little bit more detail here that I can add. Like this little rectangle here I'd actually see. So I'm going to add in the lines here and here. Okay. Remember, we're not worried about these circles because we're pretending like these are solid cubes. So that's my front view. My right side view is if I look at it from the right side. Okay. So the right side looks like two cubes tall with one cube sticking out here. So I make sure that I line it up and I go one, two cubes tall. I go down. So that gives me this section here, but now I need to have this bump out. So I'm going to go one cube out. And again, we would actually see this line here, so I'm going to add in that line for my point of detail. When I go to my top view, I make sure that things are lined up. So I place my front view. My top view is looking down on it. Okay, so it looks like one, two, three, left to right. And there's one sticking out here in the middle. Okay, so I go make sure it's lined up. One, there's one block, two, three, down. And then I go across, one, two, three. And I've got this bump out right here. And looking down the top, I would actually see this line right here. So I'm going to put that line in right there. So there's my front, top, and right side view of this part. Okay, That should help us eventually when we take this to on shape so that we can use this part to create it in on shape. So now what you want to do is find a color pencil and color it according to the shape or the color of the plastic that you had for your snap cube. It doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure that you're filling it in so we can quickly reference which part is the brown part, or the green part, or the white part, or the red part, and find a color that matches as close as you can. Okay? So do the same thing for another part here, another part here, another part here, and then you'll have to flip the page to do your other pieces um, so that you have enough room. Keep the same standards. This is what we're looking for. Uh, and if you're having any issues, make sure you're working with a partner, somebody else that can help you or ask a question so we can make sure they come out nice.